Hey everybody! So today I want to show you my solution for a solar energy installation in an apartment. I'm renting an apartment and I was wondering how I can offset a little bit of my energy consumption. So uh, what I did is a grid-tied uh, grid tight installation and I'm showing you the details right right now. So this is a 245 watt solar panel from Yingli and I have hooked it up to an inverter from Kdang which is back here. Um, so this is a micro inverter and the setup is of course very easy. You have the the DC, the two DC cables coming from the panel and the micro inverter is converting the power into AC and it's just hooked up here outside on my porch. I have two power outlets and it's hooked up to one of them. What is a little bit odd, something I have to figure out, is this. So I have a watt meter, a watt meter hooked up to the to the installation. Hard to see in the shadow. So here you go. So at the moment it's showing 124 watt. And this is pretty much the best best time of the day. The orientation is pretty well with the panel. I have uh, used a board here to basically get the right get the right angle uh, angle. And something must be wrong with the inverter. It should pump out much more than 120 watt. I got it up to 130 the other day, but it should go way above that. The installation itself was, here's the original invoice. So I bought it, I uh, bought the Yingli panel, 276, then the shipping quite big item here and this is the micro inverter and then I also bought a monitoring hub for the micro inverter which is this little thing so what this is supposed to do is to uh, to collect the data from the inverter and basically showing the the performance of the panel and the inverter. This is the dashboard. This is how it's supposed to look like. So this is an installation with many panels. So in my setup I would I would have one item showing up here and the software allows me to or should allow me to do all kinds of things, configurations and um, kinds of statistics as for the power output of the inverter. Unfortunately it's not working so I've tried many things. I've spent several hours on Skype with an engineer at Kdang in China and so far not been able to figure out why this modem is not working. So you hook it up with a... it has zero interface. I got a converter uh, to a USB and this is supposed to go into the power outlet and uh, that's actually the way the monitor uh, the, the monitoring modem is collecting the data from the inverter through the power line through the grid um, so I don't know what it is could be interference um, but I'll figure it out and I'll post another video once this is done yeah so this is a pretty simple and straightforward installation 
um, not yet pumping out what I want. So here's still about 125 to 124. Um, would be great to get it up to 200. What I've also done is I have done my little energy audit for my apartment in order to figure out how much how many panels I would technically need for my energy consumption so this is quite an elaborate calculation uh, for weekday and weekend consumption I basically listed all the devices all the electrical devices I have in the apartment the wattage that they use I have optimized the wattage as much as possible especially with with the lighting um, and in order to find out how much each device is using in my apartment during the day on weekdays and on weekends and this way I'm able I was able to find out how much uh, how many panels I would technically need in order to offset at least my daily consumption because this is not a, a battery setup it's just a panel that is feeding power back into my apartment grid so to say um, so this is not a setup where the power is stored in batteries and can also be used at night for instance yeah, so if you want to have more details on this this little tool here, I was actually thinking of putting it online or creating an app out of it. It's it's quite useful because it ultimately gives you the uh, return on invest, <laughs> which is quite interesting depending on what you paid for the installation and how much power you were able to get out of the setup and of course depending on how much you pay at the moment for your electricity and how much you're consuming in the apartment. So at the moment this is uh, with uh, a hundred, uh, let's see, with a hundred and twenty-five effective, uh, watt effective output I'm at twenty-one years return on invest which is super high. It should go down to ten years uh, once I get this inverter uh, working in a way it's supposed to work getting the full power out of this single panel setup. Okay, I think that's all I wanted to share with you for now. Again, once I figured out the problem with that dashboard, because that would be very neat to get this up and running, to have some visualization of the actual performance and to also um, link that to my little energy audit monitoring tool here created some some statistics on the right and uh, yeah so stay tuned for more updates and feel free to, to post me any questions regarding this the, the reason I did this is I, I did a lot of research online actually trying to figure out how apartment renters could um, offset some of their energy consumption uh, in a in a very easy and uh, simple setup and I found so far at least with solar this is a very straightforward setup um, especially if you have an outlet on the on the balcony if you live in a uh, south southwest facing unit or south facing unit um, it's it's doable and this installation proves it <laughs> take care bye